everybody welcome back um this week we are filming our bump date in the carpool line <laughs> so i had a few minutes before i had to um go and pick devin up from school so why not go ahead and film this week's update so this week I am 32 weeks. I have my doctor's appointment this morning and everything is looking perfect. I am so excited. Um, the boys are growing very healthily. They have gained a little bit over a pound um, since my last doctor's appointment, which was three weeks ago. So Micah is now four pounds two ounces and Levi is four pounds and three ounces which is awesome because Micah was um a little bit bigger than Levi I hope I just told you the right weight Micah four two Levi four three there we go <laughs> so um he caught up to basically his brother's size which is awesome um because we want both of them ideally to be five pounds each that way they don't have to go to the NICU. That way they can, once they're born, they can be with me and my husband and not have to worry about them being separate from us and everything like that. So that's great news. Um, my doctor is saying that they are definitely both going to be um, five pounds by the time that I deliver. Unless like for some who knows what reason I go into labor tomorrow, which I pray in Jesus name that, that does not happen that when my babies are healthy they can develop more and be able to be with me um so yeah they are doing really well she's saying that from this point on they're going to be gaining like the most weight and everything is going to be very rapid so that's good I don't have to worry about that happening and for what she was telling me I've been having um some Braxton, Braxton Hicks pains and like pains on my sides like both right and left and she was explaining that my body is now the size of where I would be 40 weeks for a singleton pregnancy so it's kind of getting ready like hey you need to be getting out of here soon so it's just like the whole body's natural process of practicing and getting ready for an actual birth and delivery and from also what she told me, why well, I've been having so much pain on my sides, like especially when I'm um, laying down or something like that is when I really feel it, is because um, those ligaments are stretching, which normally um, they don't very often like get that kind of use and stretch. Because twins, from what she was telling me, I'm going to show you. They're basically like this in my um, uterus right now. This is Micah. Oh, <laughs> some leftover makeup from this morning. What else? Uh, this is Micah and this is Levi. So they're kind of like front and back. Like this is the front of my stomach and this is the back like towards my organs and stuff. So now instead of growing this way, they're going to be shifting side to side. So instead of them being here, they're going to move to their own separate space over here. That way um, they have more room to grow and get bigger. So she was explaining to me that's why I've been feeling those pains. I'm like, okay, that explains a lot. And I am the size that I was like when I was basically having Devin and like delivered her. So all of that's kind of making sense. It's just my body's preparations and getting ready for um, them to have more room and for them to come. So all good signs. Everything's normal. Um, we did talk a little bit about their positioning today because Micah is breech, which means that his butt is down there and his head is up. While Levi has turned where his head is down and his feet are up, which both of them last visit were breech. So good signs, at least one of them's turned. But the concerning one is Micah, simply because he, if I do an, um, a vaginal birth, he will be the one that's born first because he's the lowest and he's the closest to my cervix. Like if my cervix is here, He's like right there. So, um, the thing that's concerning is that you can't birth a breech baby, which means unless he turns by the time I am 36 week, weeks, which is in four weeks, we're going to have to do a C-section. And like, I know the basic concept of a C-section, but I had her talk to me about it more in depthly today. 
because I always wanted to do a vaginal birth, which is what I did with Devin and what I wanted to do with these two. But unless he turns, that's not really going to be an option. So basically, she's kind of letting me know beforehand and mentally preparing me that this is what's going to have to happen. Um, so basically, she showed me like the incision and then she told me what's going to happen to where I'm not going to be able to see from like mid abdomen down. All of that's going to be like, I don't know, blocked off for a better lack of words. And um, they're going to take the babies out and my husband will be up here like with me or whatever. And I'm going to have my epidural and my pain medicine. Both of those are going to be going through the same thing and it's going to be scheduled um, around 38 weeks or so. So good news is, is that she thinks that I'm going to carry full term, which is um, ideally for twins like 37, 38 weeks. So that's awesome. I'm excited about that, that I'm healthy and the babies are healthy and that we'll be able to go all the way. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like some disappointing news because I didn't want to have to do that. But if that's what's safest for them and what's safest for me, then that's what we're going to have to do. So... We talked a little bit about that, and the closer that we get, like my next doctor's appointment um, is in two weeks, but technically it'll be like three, because I'll be 35 weeks, but um, she won't be there the Friday when I'm 34 weeks, so we're just going on that Monday. So whatever, it's not a big deal. It's like three days different. Um, but yeah, basically by that point, if they, if he hasn't turned, then she's really going to talk to me more in depthly about it. And then we're going to go ahead and schedule one. Which kind of freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> but that's okay. I accept it that if that's what's healthiest. Oh, excuse me. And what's easiest for them. And then also for my sake. Because I have to be around and take care of them. Then that's what we're going to have to do. So that's a, a new revelation. Kind of that I'm having to accept and deal with. And, um, yeah, they're moving a lot. Like, they're doing great. Um, I'm really proud of them <laughs> that they are doing so well. And I'm just thankful that they're healthy and happy babies and that everything's okay. Um, let's see. Are there any interesting symptoms I've been having? So, I'm definitely, like, doing, leaking, like, the little bit of pee when I laugh a lot like but I'm laughing like really really hard which is normally my husband's fault because I think he's hilarious but um he does that to me like not on purpose but he makes me laugh a lot so I've started wearing like um like panty liners or something like that to kind of help control that um yep sex for us is really interesting <laughs> We have learned that some positions are just not going to work anymore. It's just awkward. So we find ones that are comfortable and that work both for us and make us both feel comfortable. Like him mentally and then me physically. So we've done that. Like that's working. And we're just like, well, this is going to get more awkward. So we just do the best that we can. And when we have to stop, then we just stop. Like he's not good. He's not upset about it. He's like, I'd rather you and the babies be safe. So that's going on. Um, my acid reflux and like kind of like belching and like all of that, that's some days are better than others. Um, basically like I have, when I, f I can feel it coming, so I'll just change position or something like that. But hey, that's just one of the not fun parts of it. Um, my hips have like. They're widening because they are also preparing and getting ready for a birth. So I get like a little bit of hip soreness here and there. Like laying down or like when I'm getting up from bed or something like that. Like I'll feel it and I'll be like ow. And then after like a second or two like it's fine and then I can keep going. Um, Sorry there's kids coming up the street. I'm like um alright. Yeah, that's different. <laughs> but um yeah so... Babies are happy. Babies are healthy. I am in great condition. Like, they're not worried about anything. I did get my, um, my flu shot today. 
and they're just like don't worry this one is safe for pregnant women so i went and got that um and my next visit i'm gonna get the pertussis which is the whooping cough um vaccination so i'll be getting that in two weeks whatever that way it'll be in my system done and good for when the baby is come and i don't have to worry about that so yeah that's definitely going to be coming up and that's pretty much all that's going on like babies are happy babies are healthy and i'm excited and i'm just thankful that we're going to be able to go to term that there's nothing wrong with them they're great on their growth chart they're great on their weight chart and everything looks good development is wonderful and i'm just happy to be blessed with two happy healthy boys so yeah that's pretty much it for this week um i do have a few videos coming up that i'm gonna be filming and posting soon i've decided that i'm basically gonna be posting videos on fridays which are my normal updates because that's when i generally have my um doctor's appointments except for this one coming up so fridays and then tuesdays i'm also gonna be posting videos too of whatever so i have some ideas coming up of um things that i've had to deal with or that people ask me about like being plus size and pregnant that's a video that i'm gonna have come up um what else also a sad encounter that i've had here on youtube i'm gonna be having that like a video posted about that coming and then also like some more family oriented videos like some stuff that i do with devin like more family things like crafts and stuff that we do and stuff so that way there's more of that going to be featured on the channel as well so look out for those coming up and i will see you all soon bye happy friday